What's up everyone, Art at Patience Metal Fab, and I'm about to make my way out into the shop to get some footage on the Group B rally car exhaust modifications. Now in the last episode, which I'll put up here, I ended it with a bit of a teaser on what Max has gotten done so far. So we've got an exhaust manifold, we've got an external wastegate set up with a recirc, we've got the downpipe, and a really cool anti-lag system. So I wanna go capture the rest of the footage so I can show you guys in this episode kind of a start to finish. And then at the end of it, we're gonna to get together with Gary so he can give us a breakdown and sort of a description on how the system's gonna work. This is one I've been looking forward to for a while now. Hopefully you guys enjoy it. Let's get out there and get started. <laughs>
Gary, what's the typical problem that most businesses have with employees that we don't? <laughs> most of them can't get their employees to work fast enough, right? Or do enough. In this case, Max got super excited about doing something super cool and being he's in here at like four o'clock in the morning, you weren't. So we missed a couple pieces of this on film. We got most of it but I uh, thought it might be appropriate to actually run over and do a breakdown on this thing. When you were first telling me about this project before I started filming, I knew we were gonna be doing a custom exhaust manifold. Obviously there was gonna be a turbo and a wastegate, but this really got out of control at one point, uh, at least for what I originally envisioned. So why don't we break it down and tell the people what this is, especially this part, because that's the most confusing aspect. So one of the things that's been kind of fun about this build, right, is Brian, the owner's approach to how this is. He's really kind of separated from wanting that like all original Group B rally car, but he definitely wants to keep some of the homage to the car itself. One of the things that they had back then, anti-lag, it's done a little bit differently nowadays than it was before, that's what you see here. But before we get into that, we'll go over kind of the basic setup for what's here, right? There's some traditional pieces here. You got your standard manifold, you got your turbo and you got your downpipe. The wastegate's slightly different than what you may be used to seeing because this is actually Turbo Smart's electronic gate. These are fairly new within the last couple of years and they're really starting to get these things dialed in. The tunability of these is really nice, especially when you're running um, you know, an advanced management system. Looks like we're probably gonna be running a MoTeC on this. So it'll really be able to do some cool stuff with controlling the gate, controlling the boost. Speaking of controlling the boost, that gets us into anti-lag. This goofy spaghetti mess of noodles you see right here, this is called fresh air anti-lag. How this works is, if you think of how a conventional blow-off valve works, it routes boost pressure when you close the throttle blade, either externally or back into an intake pipe on the front side of the turbo. In this case, instead of that valve routing it back in front of the turbo to be recirculated back in, it's dumping that pressurized cold air back into the exhaust manifold itself. If you pair that with a little extra duty cycle on those injectors through the management system, you actually get a little bit of combustion inside of these runners, as well as that pressurized air winding up on the exhaust side of the turbo. That combined creates more volume even with throttle off and keeps the turbo spooled up. What is this gonna sound like? I mean, it's obviously hard to tell because this is a one-off, but what are we expecting here? I'm not sure. Hopefully we'll get some fireballs out of it. That's kind of the idea. I mean, again, going back to like your Group B homage and the way these cars were, you know, they were kind of cutting edge for their time. They were pretty extreme. So this thing kind of uh, all goes hand in hand. Theoretically, this setup is gonna sound absolutely insane. And I'm very excited to hear that as I'm sure you guys are, but it is still gonna be a few months before we get fired up. I know the engine needs to go out for a build. So what's the time frame and what do we have to get done? You know, they say the last 10% takes 50% of the build and that's kind of where we're at, right? The big fabrication stuff is done. This stuff moves a along pretty quick and this is the really exciting stuff. Now we move into some of the nitty gritty. So we got the water pumps mounted because it's a totally divorced system. <clears throat> You've seen Max do the heat exchangers, the radiator, the oil cooler, it'll have a dry sump on it. So this mounting the coolers, the little less exciting stuff, the actual plumbing, we gotta mount the PDM, we'll be running an AIM system on this, uh, as well as the uh, MoTeC for management. But kind of the next steps through that, once everything's mounted and we're done with the motor, the motor's actually gonna go down to engineered performance in Texas. We're not gonna run a distributor of coils anymore, so he's gonna do some pickup wheels for us, some sensor rings, make this thing so it can actually run off a conventional system, coil unplugged um, type setup, as well as the actual build itself. It needs to get sleeved, it, he's gonna make pistons for it, um, set up the dry sump. It's actually gonna be uh, some pretty cool stuff that he's doing for us. In the meantime, we'll be able to knock out some of the basic wiring. We got a cool deal we're doing with the dash with some carbon Kevlar and uh, some, of the, some, some of the finishing touches inside the car. And we might even go so far as to send this thing out to paint and body while the motor is out. And from my perspective, filming every week, I've got tons of footage on this car and every week I say this is the most exciting part and then we get to the next one and something even more exciting happens. So there's plenty of really cool footage to come. If you guys aren't subscribed to the page, make sure you are. Go check out the entire series. I'm gonna put it in the description and up here. Like this video and share it around. We'll see you in the next one.